Hi guys, so I have, sorry about the glare from the windows and or how dark it is. I'm trying to use natural lighting and it works sometimes and it doesn't, but um, I think this is how I'm going to have to do my videos now because we don't have a light by our computer. But, um, so I've decided to do the 10 book challenge, which was started last year by, uh, I don't remember who. And basically the challenge is to read 10 books of your own before you buy a new book. I have a massive to read pile like most of you do. Um, so I thought this would be a good idea. Now this will not affect my book haul for July. But for every 10 books I read, I can get 2 books. So I'm going to get right to the pile. The first book I have is L.J. Smith's The Vampire Diaries, The Return, Volume 2, Shadow Souls. And I started this one. I'm only on page 12 out of um, 599 pages. These books are massive. Each one is at least 400 to 500 pages, if not a little bit more. Um, I enjoy the books more than the show. I made it a point to read the first four books before the show came out so I would know, um, be able to follow the show, but the show, the producers of the show have taken so many creative rights to the show that it's, the show doesn't really follow the books that well, and I know that it doesn't necessarily have to follow the books, but I would have appreciated it a little bit more if they had kind of stayed a bit closer to the book. The next book I have is the sequel to Julie Kagawa's The Iron um, King, and it is The Iron Daughter, the second book in her Iron Fae series. The next book I have is the third book in the Iron Fay series. It's the Iron Queen. And these book covers are beautiful. And then the third one I have is the fourth and final book in that series. And it is the Iron Knight. And I'm kind of perturbed at why they did these uh, French flaps in this book and not the rest of the book. Um, I, I, I like the French flaps, but I, the covers don't match, and also the weathered pages. And the next book I have is, uh, is a sequel to Becca Fitzpatrick's Hush Hush, and that is Crescendo. I enjoyed Hush Hush, so I went ahead and picked up Crescendo, um, a long time ago. <laughs> And then I have the third book in that series, which is Silence. I want to get caught up on this series before October, I believe, when the final book comes out. So then I only have to read the final book in October, not three books. Um, the next book I have is the... Um, fifth, fourth book. And fourth and final book in Lauren Kate's The Fallen series, which is Rapture. It depends on how you count. If you count um, the short stories as um, 3.5, then this would be 4. But if you don't really count the short stories in with the series, then this would be book 3. No, this would be book. It would still be book 4. <laughs> My bad. Um, so yeah, that's Rapture by Lauren Tate. And then those last three final books are all in the same trilogy, and that trilogy is the Hollow Trilogy by Lauren, or by Jessica Verde. And there's the cover. I started this one already. I'm on page 268 out of 400. Nope, out of 513 pages. So I should be done with this one soon. I have also the sequel to that, which is the 
that are haunted. And the third and final one in that trilogy, which is The Hidden. So those are my ten books that I have to read beforehand before I get um before I get another two books. I remember that does not affect my book haul for July, which will be a relatively small book haul because my husband has put me on a budget of about sixty dollars. And because the books I need are to finish series, I can't buy them in a bookstore because for some reason the bookstores around here do not carry them. So I have to go to Amazon and order them and pay shipping. And um not get them used because the same seller does not have all of the books that I need so I have to get them new. <laughs> unfortunately. Um, so yeah, before I continue rambling, I'm going to let you guys go. Enjoy your weekend and keep reading.